So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll cover this amazing lab. So first of all, click on Start Lab and open the Console and Cognito window. Now, if you want to enable this yellow check my progress bar, you can check the description box of this video. I have shared the video how to enable that check my progress. Now, just open the Console and Cognito window. Now here, just click on I understand. And just carefully follow as I am doing so that you get full score on this lab because the lab structure has been recently changed. So just stay tuned and let's complete the lab together. Here just click on I agree and then click on I agree and continue. Now the first thing is that we have to verify one thing that whether one API is enabled or not. Which API will discover it. Do not worry about it. Come to the lab instruction and just check the API need. So let's come to the lab instruction and one more important thing many of you are asking how to complete the skill badges and lab free courses the entire sheet is present in the description box you can check it now here it is cloud dataplex api so just copy the api name carefully and just check the api library whether it is enabled or not because sometimes what happens the apis are not enabled and you face some kind of issue so why not verify whether the api is enabled or not so just wait and in the search box, you have to just type the API and hit enter. Now just select the first one. And here you can see it is enabled by default. So we don't have to enable. If it is not enabled by default, then we have to click on enable. Now on the search box, type dataplex and just select the universal dataplex catalog. Just select this one. Here we have to add create the lakes add zones add assets and multi things are available over here so just wait for it now from here you have to just click on manage option and then from the lake click on create now for the names you have to just select the name from here and then you have to just select the region from here and then just click on create and wait for it to get created it will take some time so wait for it Here you can clearly see that it is created and status is active. Now what you have to do, you have to just click on the orders lake. Just click on the orders lake and let's create a zone. Basically for this lab, we have to create customer curated zone. And sometimes it asks for raw zone also. So you need to cross verify from the lab instruction. Do not worry, I will show you how you can verify it. So just click on it. Now here just click on the add zone and it will take some time now come over here here it's mentioned customer curated zone also the type is also curated zone if it asks for row zone you can check it now it's regional then select regional now just click on create it will again take some time so wait for it Now once it is active, you will be able to click on the curated zone. Now just click on the curated zone and wait for some time. And here we have to add a BigQuery asset. Sometimes we are asked to add 
cloud storage asset but in this lab we are given this task so just copy the display name and just click on the add asset enter the name over here and then make sure to select the bigquery data set only if they are mentioning cloud storage then you can comment down i will make updated video now for the data set we have to select this customers just copy this paste over here and just select this one so you can see the structure is same as per lab instruction now just come over here done continue again continue and just submit now again it will take some time and it is creating so wait for it to get created and after that we'll hit check my progress for the task because if you try to check the score you'll get that wait for the asset to get completed and then only you'll get the score let me show you the demo how it will look like like if you try to check the score you can see wait for the creation to complete and just wait it will take few minutes only and it will be completed you can see now the status is active now if you try to check the score you'll get the score without any issue now come over here now task number two three and four is a little bit tricky because this is the updated steps so just come over here to the catalog section and then we have to create a aspect types earlier it was data catalog templates but now it is changed to aspects if you are a previous participant of the arcade you must be knowing about this here you have to just enter the display name and then for the location you can just see it's us east one for me it might be different for you so you can just check it now we have to add a field just click on add field and then just enter the display name over here just add the name over here and then you have to just check enumerated because they have mentioned and we have to make sure to click on this recall tag now just add the values yes and then done and then no so just copy yes carefully you can type also make sure the syntax is same and then you have to just type no sorry syntax not format it is if it is showing in capital you have to type in capital and small like this you have to do and done and all things are correct just save it it will take some time and then it will be updated as they have mentioned it can take few minutes and many of you are asking how to enable this yellow check my progress i repeat i've shared the video link in the description you can check that out too now this is completed now we have to just come to the search section and just tag our template so how to tag the template is covered on this part only now here what do you need to do you have to just search first of all you have to toggle the switch of query in natural language then you have to just select the big query and then you have to just select the customer details so how will do it do not worry you can read it again you have to just turn it on after that you have to just select the big query option okay just select the big query option if you want to discover you can just read it yourself also now from here you have to just select the customer details in that case if you are unable to find it just refresh the browser and you can just type it also because the list is little bit longer so just type customer and hit enter and here you can clearly see that customer details is mentioned over here just click on it and here basically we'll be adding that tags so how you have to add the tags the method is completely changed as per the previous lab you have to just click on optional tags and aspects and from here only you have to just select the tag template which we have created in the previous step and then you have to just wait for a few seconds and just select yes and then just save it once you have saved it successfully we have to modify the schema also so for that you have to click on the schema option and you have to just add the following things to add it do not worry everything is covered over here okay if you want to verify you can see it that we have successfully added now in the schema section you have to just select all these things that is zip state last country etc all these things you have to select it one by one okay just select it carefully and then you have to just cross verify from the list again and then on the top you can see add tag or aspect there is mention of it so once you have cross verified and counted all these things i am repeating because many of you make mistake so here just select add or tag aspect and just select this one and here you have to just select y sorry yes and then save it how we have done in previous step you have to repeat it and that's how we have completed this part also now just check the score for this particular task and here you can see we will got the score 
for this particular task. Now, if you're new to this channel, do like the video and subscribe the channel for other pre assessment skill badges, other arcade games, level games, trivia games, all things are present on the channel. Thank you guys. Have a great day ahead.